Taken around 1915, at a time where cameras weren't your average household gadget, these photographs tell a story on paper that has gone untold for years. Coming across photographs that you think are lost to history uh, is a feeling I don't think I could ever describe. They showed the Chambers family with a particular domestic employee, Nona Williams, a black woman from Brenham. The old photos were stored away in boxes with other early to mid-1900s artifacts at the Chambers House Museum on Calder Avenue in Beaumont. We have opened boxes that have not been opened since the museum was first um, reconstructed in 2002, and, and that's where we found the bulk of this, these stories from. The Chambers family was an upper middle class family who bought the two story beach style home in 1914. While much is known about Homer Chambers, his wife Edith and their two daughters Florence and Ruth, not much is known about the domestic workers who spent years closely with the family, especially the daughters. That's a mystery we would love to solve one day. Shelby Brannon, the executive director of the Beaumont Heritage Society, wants to start changing that with a new exhibit called By Their Hands, which encompasses the small house that served as domestic staff quarters right behind the Chambers house. It's dedicated to three black women in particular, Nona Williams, Fanny Bowie, and Etta Mack. From the, the Chambers family side, we do know that they were very fond of who, the, who they employed here. However, we cannot speak to the perspectives of Etta and Fanny and Nona themselves. But the way one of Nona Williams' photos was posted on social media right before Black History Month didn't sit well with some people who took issue with a black woman being shown in a position of servitude. We posted a photo of Miss Nona Williams without proper context, and for that, we deeply apologize to the people that we offended for that. Um, our intent is to get her story out there for the first time in its whole accuracy um, and to tell people who she was, because we feel like her contributions not only to this family, but to her community are important. Brannon says the society intended to promote the new exhibit highlighting the unrecognized domestic workers. We are honored to tell the stories of these women because we believe they're, they're no less important than the stories of Florence and Ruth Chambers, um, you know, who lived in this home. But the situation caused them to stop and listen. Now they can focus on telling the rest of the stories in a more comprehensive way.